All right, I'm gonna quickly show you how to um, use the VSync patch for Toho games because, uh, well, I want to make this video because it's tiring to talk through the steps with someone individually every time. So um, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need the Toho Community Reliant Auto Patcher, uh, which is Toho crap, and that's um, I'll have a link to that in the description. And also, you need the v the actual VSync patch, which is also in the description. So, um, to get the Toho crap, um, you just download from this button. And to get the VSync patch, download from this one, and not whichever one, like this one or anything. Just do this one. It's a Mediafire link. Um, so, you will download two archives from that. Once you have the archives, just extract them to your Toho folder. Uh, so something like this, where I have all my games, and then I have the Toho crap folder right here, and I have vsync patch here. So um, the first step is to go into your vsync patch folder, and then uh, this is the tedious part if you have a lot of games. Uh, for the game you want to patch, you're going to find the most up-to-date version in this thing. So for revision 7, that's 10, 11, 12, 9.5, and 12.5. And for revision 4, it's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 9.5. So this has 9.5, and revision 7 also has 9.5. You're going to use the revision 7 because it's more up-to-date. And so you're going to... Let's say I, I want to patch um, 11. I want to patch Subterranean Atomism. So the most recent one is um, in revision 7. So I'm going to take this DLL. And I'm also going to copy the vpatch any and vpatch.exe. So I'm going to copy that and go into my Toho 11 folder. And then paste all of those into here. And I've already done this, I think, so I'll just replace them. And now, um, go into the any settings, and you want to make sure these are the settings for pretty much every game. Uh, window enabled equals one. The width you can make it. You can make these whatever you want. I personally recommend if you have a big enough monitor, 1280 by 960 because it's the original aspect ratio of the game, and it's just it's like almost my entire screen, or almost the height of my entire screen, I think. Uh, title bar one I recommend and then don't mess with anything else so once you have that done and you should do that for every game you want to patch so if you also want to patch Imperishable Night then you go into revision 4 and then do the same thing copy these three and then put them in your Toho 8 folder so after you've done that, you have to uh, go into your Toho crap folder. And you might not have some of these files. Um, I've already run Toho crap a bunch, so I might have files that are generated when you do it. So just do the steps uh, that I do. So you're going to run Toho crap configure.exe. And let me get a drink of water. And press enter to continue, it'll download some things, and this, the first patch selection thing, you have a lot to choose from, we don't need anything right now, uh, I would just enter 23, because that's the English patch, but we're not going to actually care about those patches right now, and then just press enter, and the following run configuration, yeah, that's fine, just press enter, and then it'll tell you you don't have a games.js yet. Um, then it's going to ask you to, it's going to generate a games list. So you're going to select your Toho directory right here, this Toho folder, which has all my games in it. And it'll look for all the games and you see it finds like Mountain of Faith and stuff like that. Um, and it should say it found, I think it always finds two versions of Toho 6 custom for me um, pick a version to run the patch on just do I guess two it doesn't matter 
I think. Um, and then just press enter once it's done. And then you should have a bunch of shortcuts, that, well, depending on how many games you had. And then games.js and n.js. Uh, don't mess with n.js. Um, don't know what that does. Probably some English stuff. But games.js is what we're going to be focusing on. You have to go into it, uh, right click it, and you should be able to just do edit. Um, but if you can't, uh, you know, open with and then like a text editor or something. So once you have it open in a text editor, um, <clears throat> you're going to see all this. And so the ones that say custom, those are the customization files. Uh, you don't need to mess with those. You can, you, either, you should either leave them alone or just delete them entirely. I deleted mine um, just because they're not that important. But the actual games, uh, you know, 07, 08, without the custom, you want to go into the, the file path and do, and delete, like, for example, thox.exe and replace it with vpatch.exe. And you want to do these for all of the games that you want to patch um, or that you want to use vsync with. So vpatch.exe, I've already done it, so I'm just going to replace this games.js with the one I had. <clears throat> and then well, let me just go ahead and delete all these real quick because we're going to make new ones. So now uh, I'll run the configure once more. Once you've once you've gone through your games.js and I'm sorry, once you've gone through your games.js and replaced them all with vpatch.exe, then um, you can reopen thcraft configure.exe, press enter, and now we actually have to select patches. So the important ones to know are uh, 23, which is the English language uh, patch. So definitely, if you speak English, you want to do that. Uh, and one, uh, which is the Alfie style art. Um, I personally use Zune's art, but if you want to replace Zune's art with Alfie's art, uh, you can do that with patch number one. And then you can also read through all these and see if you want anything else. But I, you know, I don't mess with anything except English. So uh, I'm going to pick 23 for English. And then I think I think it should still be one, yeah, for Alfie's. So if you want to use Alfie's, just press just enter one here. But I'm going to enter confirm. And then you sh you can name it anything you want, but I'm just going to leave it as uh, en. So en.js already exists. Overwrite. You should probably overwrite it. I don't think it matters too much. I'm just going to press enter to continue. Should the paths of these games be rescanned? And I'm just going to press no because I don't want it to overwrite the the things we edited. And no, new games should not be added to the list. All right, and then it closes. And then now it generates some shortcuts here. <clears throat> so all these shortcuts are for the the different games. And so when you want to run the when you run want to run the um, the game through vpatch, you have to open it through the shortcut. Um, so um, you can move, for example, you can move this shortcut to the desktop or to your like your Toho folder if you wanted to. Um, but I'll probably just keep them all in here, just so I have them all in one place. So, and uh, if you open it, I hope it doesn't go all loud on me. But if you open it, you can see um, the window is now the resolution I set it to, which is 1280 by 960. That's what we set in the vpatch.ini. And so, it's not an unbearable full screen mode or an unbearably small windowed mode and it is in English uh, something to note is if you wanted if you tried to run just the vpatch.exe it would run the Japanese version of the game so that's why we had to go through the all the the Toho crap stuff to patch the vpatch file um, if you are fine with playing it in Japanese you can just go 
and open like vpatch.exe and it'll be in Japanese. All right, so hopefully that helps and hopefully it's clear what to do. Um, so uh, hopefully I don't have to tell everyone what to do now.